you got to understand that for each and every one of you, there's an unlimited amount of loyal clients. There's an unlimited amount of loyal clients. The problem is you haven't put the adequate amount of work in to go find them, right? Your job was really a filtration process of the population. Now, let's think about attraction. Because if you're not attracting people to you, then you're not gonna have a business, period. Predictable or not, okay? Question, raise your, if you had the opportunity to do business with me, Ricky Carruth, okay? Raise your hand if you would. Now, raise your hand if I've ever charged you a dime for anything. If I've ever charged you a dime for anything, no one. Look at what I did. You s watch what I'm doing, guys. Everybody in this room said that they would love the opportunity to do business with me, but I've never asked you guys for anything. Power of attraction. Now, how did I do this? And you guys need to really, I really want you to get this because you can take this and you can apply this to your, your local real estate market as a real estate agent and create a scenario where people are dying to do business with you and you've never asked them for anything. Wouldn't that be amazing? How did I do it, okay? A lot of work, number one. You gotta understand that there's not an easy button here, but how did I do it, okay? Most of you, how many people here have I actually communicated with on an individual basis, by phone, email, DM, anything, okay? A lot of you. And the ones that I haven't, you just haven't reached out. So if I talk to someone in my market and create a great first impression, Okay, that next week, they're gonna get a welcome email right then, but then that next week they get another email. When they, when, they, when they see my name in the inbox, it all hits them again, and all those first impressions and great feelings they had when they met me the first time all come back to them, and it keeps the feeling going. And then they see the next week, the next week, the next week, the next week, and then they start to realize this person is consistent. He's actually a hard worker. He's dependable. He's got good, good information too, you know? This is my real estate agent. Never asked them for anything. I just created a scenario where they are just, if they ever have the opportunity, they're gonna do business with me, right? The power of attraction. And I'll go back to, to one thing that the weekly email embodies and, and, sh and communicates to them, and that is that you're a hard worker. Everybody loves a hard worker. And when, and when people view you as one of those, <laughs> those people, they have a different level of respect for you, right off the bat a different level of credibility. So I want you guys to just try to visualize what I'm doing, right? What I've done here in the real estate agent space is no different than what I did in the real estate local market space to become a top real estate agent. It's the business model of the future. According to NAR, the number one reason why people choose a real estate agent is because they had a friend in the business. They had a great reputation and so on and so forth. It was overwhelming, it was 33% of people said great reputation, which means what? Somebody they know, a friend. Everything else was literally 1%, 1%, 1%, 2%. 2% 2 was probably the highest percentage on all the other reasons, okay? So when you think about closings, we're gonna think about how many friends can we create in the market? Because it's not about how many listing appointments, closings, uh, 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 you know, showings that you get. It's about how many friends you're gonna create in the marketplace because they're gonna go with someone who was a friend in the business. So now our business objective turns completely around to everything you've probably been taught your entire career from let's get listing appointments, let's find out if someone wants to sell. I don't wanna know if they wanna sell, I do, but that's not my main objective. My main objective is, is there anything I can do to help you? The point is, is that there's an unlimited amount of those loyal clients though, right? That part of your database that are never gonna go to another real estate agent, okay? You gotta understand that for each and every one of you, there's an unlimited amount of loyal clients, okay? There's an unlimited amount of loyal clients. The problem is you haven't put the adequate amount of work in to go find them, right? Your job was really a filtration process of the population to find the people within the population of your area that want to do business with you. It's a filtration process. And how do we, how do, we do that? How, what is the filtration process? One-on-one -on -one communication to see if 
There's a working relationship here. The see for personalities connect. When you're talk, if, you're, if your mother came to you, called you, and said, son, I'm thinking about moving. I'm thinking about selling my house and moving. What's the first thing you would say? What's that? That's the real estate agent in you, right? Like, oh, well, what kind of house you looking for? <laughs> A three bedroom? It's your mom. The first thing you would say is, why mom? Right? I want you guys to start thinking about how, what questions and what you would do and how, how you would say it if it was your parents, if it was your brother, if it was your cousin. I want you to emulate how you talk to your close family and friends with your prospects, right? So why are we doing listen presentations for our prospects? This is totally against the grain, but this is, this is the kind of stuff I think about. I've never had a listen presentation. I'm walking in there like it's my mom. Why are you selling? Okay, if that's the case, then yeah, let's look at the place. This is probably what we should look. I'm talking to them like they're my parents. I don't need anything fancy to sell my parents, right? You bring value. And new agents say, well, how do you bring value? I haven't sold anything. What value do I have? Let me tell you how to spell value. T-I-M-E, right, Whitley? T-I-M-E, time, right? Your value is you. Your value is your personality. Your value is spending time with them, learning more about them, getting to know them, finding out why they want to do certain things. Time is the value. Spending time on your social media, right? A lot of people just want to click the easy button and have a company post generic content for them that gets two likes. It doesn't work. People want to do drip campaigns of how to, how to cook shrimp etouffee. If I need to know how to cook something, I'm going to Google it. I don't need my real estate agents to tell me how to cook something. Or what color to paint my walls in the fall or 10 buyer tips to win multiple offers or, or national real estate stats. They want local stuff. They want stuff from you. They want to get to know you through your content, through your emails, through your social medias. But what does that require? It requires you to spend a little bit of time on it. But that's where the value is. Okay, I want you to have a, we'll do two minutes in two minutes. I want you to have a two minute conversation with someone that you came with, or if you someone that you know here, okay, that you're comfortable with, and I want you to have a little conversation with them about whatever, okay? But it's a comfortable conversation. I want you to pay attention to how comfortable they are with you and how comfortable you are with them. I want you to pay attention to the speed of your voice, the tone of your voice, right? And how relaxed you are. 